Welcome back. A film set during the Philippine-American War in the 1900s is set to hit cinemas in, the, in time for the Philippine-American Friendship Day this July. It tells the story of a Filipino who deals with a garrison of American soldiers and the fine line he treads in an attempt to survive the American occupation. Here's a sneak peek at Amigo. Ang bigas mula sa bawat baryo. Pinapantayan nila lahat ng ginagawa namin. He's big boss man around here, amigo. That'd be rough. Ano bang pinag-uusapan nila? We concentrate the population and isolate the Lagrones. Yes, sir. Everybody fall back! It's awful hard to tell the Indians from the amigos, sir. Ask him what he knows about this. Yo, no. Soy amigo yo. Now here to tell us why the film is a must-see for Filipinos are John Sales, director of Amigo, Maggie Renzi, producer of the film, and the star of the film, Mr. Joel Torre. Guys, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good and Mayong Aga, say mo. Mayong Aga, uh, Ginger. Sir Joel. Yeah. Um, welcome back to the Philippines, guys. Yep. And uh, I, I must say, I really am uh, very interested and very uh, excited to see this film and really the, the lessons that we can uh, drive from such a part of history that really is unknown to so many people. Mm -hmm. um, I'll start off with you, John. I mean, you are an Oscar-nominated uh, film director, uh, writer. What brought you to the Philippine-American story or your fascination with uh, the, the you, two countries? You know, when I, when I encountered this this history, this fact of mm -hmm. the, the Philippine-American War, I realized I've never heard of this. It's mm -hmm. not taught in American schools. And then asking... Me too. Yeah, you too. <laughs> and then talking to Filipino friends, they, they said, you know, it's it's... You might know about it, but you never really taught it. Mm -hmm. um, it. The United States and the Philippines have had a long and complicated relationship, and it didn't start well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons that it was suppressed over the years. Plus, there has never been an American film about the Philly and War. Mm -hmm. Just zero. So um, I always try to make movies I haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. In the process of, of research and of uncovering you know, this story that was really uh, unknown to you before, mm -hmm. what were some of the things that surprised you that maybe you know, kind of just caught you off guard and really made you believe that this is a, a film uh, that is worth seeing and worth learning about? Well, I, uh, one thing that I, I, I found that was important that, that is not you know, maybe emphasized enough in, in uh, you know, Philippines schools and certainly not in American schools is that there was a Philippine Republic mm -hmm. um, there was a government there was a constitution that was partly based on the American Constitution this wasn't a bunch of guerrillas hanging around in, in the jungle mm -hmm. um, it was really an attempt to make a country and then the United States kind of reneged on their promise to liberate the Filipinos from the Spanish and decided to stay and and, and make the Philippines a territory I mean, I think um, the understanding of what exactly the events that the events that took place are so uh, unknown to so many. I'm just going to go ahead and go over to uh, you, uh, Mr. Joel. Ano yung paka, I mean, what did you know about the Philippine American War before really getting engrossed into the story of the film? I, I knew so. I knew so little about it. It wasn't taught in our history books. Mm -hmm. It was deliberately hidden. Mm -hmm. So parts of it would be the. Balangika massacre or the um, David Fagan, but uh, if we look at our history books, it was from after the Paris of Treaty, go straight to the Thomasites. Mm -hmm. So there's a big chapter that was totally not known to us. But socially, what do you think Filipinos really understand of uh, Philippine American relations? Well, this is the first of the American um, colonial aspiration or mm -hmm. the expansionist aspiration. And um, the, we should learn about our past mm -hmm. to know where we're going. So it's uh, like John said, we have this um, uh, relationship with the U.S. and the Philippines. And the more we know about our history, the more we understand why there's still VFA, mm -hmm. the Visiting Forces Agreement, and why there were bases here. And plus, um, well, we're not a colony anymore, but we might be a territory somehow, but without a basis. Mm -hmm. 
A lot of people may share that opinion, you know, I mean, we may not be a, a, a colony or we might very much be a, a republic, but still under the pressures of, uh, of Americans or, or under the, um, under, exactly, the, the pressure of uh, the Western world. I mean, are you guys ready to, Maggie, John, are you ready to face head on maybe the criticism that the film may, uh, may spur amongst uh, Westerners or uh, amongst uh, the oh. American community here? I mean, are we blowing the lid on something that people have successfully kind of kept under wraps? I think we welcome it. I think most people who live in the Philippines love the Philippines, like John and I have come to. So lately I've been thinking, Ginger, that it's like, um, it's like an adopted child. Mm -hmm. you, you search and search and search and finally you find your father. Mm -hmm. Father may not be altogether a good guy, but at least you know who your father is. Mm -hmm. In some way, we may not be father, we're some sort of bad ninong or good <laughs> ninong mm -hmm. or I'm not quite sure what, but that search for identity is something I can see happening all over the Philippines mm -hmm. right now during this new Pinoy era. Mm -hmm. And I think this movie goes along well with it and I think that Americans have some responsibility to take for mm -hmm. the history that happened, but we all have responsibility for history. We didn't do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. We didn't pick up the gun. But we should know how we got to be friends. Mm -hmm. In fact, we started as enemies. It's not a bad thing to learn about yourself. That's right. That's uh, wonderfully, wonderfully put, especially with uh, the influence of, of Western culture, of American culture, still very, uh, very much felt in the country today. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, let's segue from uh, more of the serious messages. You guys shot for uh, a year in Bohol, uh, nine months. You were here for nine you know, months. The, a a lot of prep and six weeks of shooting, and, and, and we shot it all in Bohol. And then I did the editing in Bohol as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we came back here uh, to Manila and did the post-production you know, kind of split between Makati and Quezon City. That's wonderful. So a lot of the behind-the-camera work, I mean, we see the um, we see the sites of Bohol and we see the Filipino actors such as uh, um, Joel and, and Ronnie Lazaro, who I've, mm -hmm. I've seen in a couple of the clips Rio already. Luxin, and Rio uh, Luxin as well. And Bambol Rocco, oh, really wow. wonderful. Um, cast that Spanky does, Manique on uh, Irma Atlawan, Joe Gruta, Pen Medina, yeah. Pen Medina, Pen Medina everybody, 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 all star team. Uh, yeah. But the behind the camera work also uh, was done here in the Philippines. A Philippine yeah. crew. And uh, the Philippine crew. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very friendly. That's 90% of the film is a Filipino. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as co-producers, we, uh, we took on the Philippine side of the production. Mm -hmm. And so John, we were so happy to work with John. And John was so happy to work with the Filipino crew. Yeah. How did you guys even get to, to start because talking? Because Mario Antal has been working in our editing room since we made Lone Star, which is actually playing on TV these days. And in fact, he met his future wife, working, his now wife, working mm -hmm. for us. They are Mario and Joel, friends from Bohol and from Mascara Theater oh. and La Salle. A million years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a small world and now yeah. it just all kind of uh, ties in together. So Joel brought us, I mean Mario brought us to the Philippines really on a holiday the first time. Mm -hmm. And then we kept coming back and then we got interested, was it possible to make a movie here? And we did. Oh, why Bohol? Why um, was that the chosen place to shoot? We needed a place that was quiet, <laughs> which, which ruled out anything anywhere near Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. um, we needed a place where they, they grew rice. Um, Joel had worked with there. Um, we, we started scouting there and really found a place that was close enough to the airports and the motels where you have to put up your, your cast and crew, but within 30, 40 minutes, you're really out in the countryside. Mm -hmm. And there's not much that you have to hide to make it look like 1900. Mm. And we needed rice fields. There's plenty <clears throat> of rice grown in Bahal. And also we needed a Bahaina Bato, and the Clarine Ancestral Home is there in Loai. And it was perfect for us. The Beautiful. kind of location we couldn't afford to build, so mm -hmm. we needed to locate it. Was just, it was just there. It was waiting just for us finger, to make a movie. And plus, after That's work, wonderful. a lot of rest and recreation. We <laughs> offered so much. Yes. I hope there yeah. was a lot of uh, Well, Joel gave us a heads up about that. <laughs> <laughs> we could also have some fun in Bahal. Well, uh, Joel, is uh, very much um, one of uh, favorite actors in, in the Philippines, both um, in the indie scene and also uh, in mainstream. I just want to ask, where is this on your long line of uh, accomplishments? Are you long line of uh, films and and um, great things, that, great works that you've done? Nasanto, 
Or is this place itself uh -huh. there? I mean, such an educational film that really kind of brings everything together. Well, people might just used to seeing me as a sad result, so they'd go for, if there's any period film, mm -hmm. uh, let's cast Joe Joel. He looks old, he looks like from that period. <laughs> 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 now we're so thankful John came over to tell us this part of our history, mm -hmm. which uh, is not in, like John said, it's not in the curriculum. So hopefully, people who watch this film and know more about our history. Can so this is a good uh, opener for the Filipino-American relationship. Yeah, and like Maggie said, I mean, you need to know who you are, right? To really move before you move forward. Very quickly, uh, speaking of um, of learning, it's also going to be part of a depth ed curriculum, or is that going to be part in July? Is that something that you guys are looking into? Please tell us about that. Yeah, the depth ed has endorsed the film, and if you go onto their website, you see that. We open the film. Uh, we'll have a premiere in Manila on Phil Am Friendship Day, July 4th and then the movie will open commercially in theaters all around the country. I'm really encouraging people to support the film when it comes out because this little but very important film opens between Transformers and Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're really encouraging people, particularly schools. We got this one, ha Harry Potter, no. <laughs> okay, good, that's what I want to hear, Ginger. <laughs> Megan Fox is in, in, in the Transformers movie. We're totally gonna take this one by storm. <laughs> um, all right, guys, it, it was really a pleasure. Please do come back when you guys uh, come back in, in July, and I'm They'll really be looking back. forward They'll to back. seeing the movie. But you will be in Bacolod on, on uh, Monday, and then in- February 21, um, and Baguio on the 20th. Um, uh, and UP, we're showing in UP uh, February 22nd. Right. So this is the first time to be in Bacolod, so we'll bring them. So, we're halo so pa looking pa forward. Halo <laughs> maybe, maybe the next movie will be in Bacolod. That's what yeah. I hope. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Well, we'll be seeing a lot more of you guys. Really, Good. thank you so much for your work in this and for uh, opening up a part of our history that has been forgotten. John, Maggie, Joel, Salamat. Thank, thank you so you. much. Salamat. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Great. Thank you.